The movie starts with a man named Mark, who meticulously plans revenge against his wife, Maria, for her infidelity. The day begins with a disturbing scene. As Maria wakes up, she finds herself tightly chained to her husband, Mark, who sits across from her on the bed. Without a word, Mark picks up a gun and shoots himself in the head, leaving Maria in shock, bound to his lifeless body. Confused and terrified, she attempts to break free from the chain, only to discover it's unbreakable. She finds Mark's gun and tries to shoot the chain, but there's only one bullet, rendering her efforts useless. After a while, there's a knock at the door. To her surprise, it's Jack, her lover, who was the reason behind her betrayal of Mark. Jack soon realizes the horrifying situation he's now part of, and both he and Maria are implicated in Mark's apparent suicide. Their problems are about to get worse, however, as another visitor arrives, Henry, a man who was sent to prison 10 years ago, partly because of Maria's actions. Henry holds a deep-seated grudge, as Maria had blinded him in one eye during his arrest. With vengeance as his only goal, Henry swiftly attacks Jack with a knife, killing him, and turns his sights to Maria. The movie then takes us back to the beginning, where we see Maria and Jack meeting in a hotel room. Maria is a married woman, but she has been having an affair with Jack, despite knowing her husband's deep affection for her. However, she ends the relationship that night, telling Jack it will be their last meeting. She plans to devote herself to her husband, ending her affair for good. The next day, Maria heads to her husband's office to celebrate their anniversary. There, she notices Henry's file on Mark's desk, reminding her of a traumatic event from a decade earlier. Henry had broken into her house intending to steal, but during the scuffle, Maria managed to defend herself, stabbing him in the eye with a key. Mark, who was a lawyer, had handled the case, and through this incident, the two of them eventually married. To celebrate their anniversary, Mark takes Maria to a beautifully decorated farmhouse, where she's touched by the effort he put into making the night memorable. In one room, she finds photos from their happiest moments together, a reminder of the love they once shared. When Mark joins her, he talks about how much he wanted to be a good husband and suggests they make a fresh start. The moment is tender, and both of them become emotional and intimate. But the next morning, everything changes. Maria wakes up to find Mark sitting beside her, and both their hands are chained together. Confused and alarmed, she demands to know what's going on, but Mark calmly tells her it's time to face the truth, then shoots himself in the head. In shock, Maria tries to break free from the chain, dragging his body around the house in search of something strong enough to break it, but finds nothing. Her phone, submerged in a jug of water, is ruined, a clear part of Mark's plan to trap her. Desperate, Maria drags Mark's body outside, hoping to reach the car parked in the snow. But when she attempts to start it, a pre-recorded message from Mark begins playing. In it, he tells her about the betrayal he felt from her affair with Jack. As she tries to start the car, she realizes that Mark had drained the fuel the night before, leaving her stranded. Returning to the house, she notices Henry's picture, suggesting that he might soon appear. Her fear heightens when the doorbell rings. Thinking it's Henry, she tries to lock the door, but then hears Jack's voice calling from outside. Jack insists he didn't plan to come, but received a message from Maria that lured him there. They soon realize that it was Mark who sent the message, orchestrating a trap for both of them. Maria urges Jack to call the police, but he hesitates, fearing they'd be blamed for Mark's death. While they're discussing their options, they see a car approaching. Jack goes outside to handle the situation, hoping it's just a passing visitor. A man steps out, claiming he's there for plumbing repairs. Jack pays him to leave, but just as he turns to go, another man stabs Jack, injuring him severely. The second man is Henry, and he's accompanied by his younger brother, James. Mark had arranged Henry's release from prison so he could exact revenge on Maria, and Henry is eager to confront her for the eye he lost and the decade he spent behind bars. Once inside, Henry begins searching for Maria, but she quickly hides herself in the storeroom, dragging Mark's body along with her. In a moment of desperate determination, Maria finally frees herself by using a sharp metal tool to cut her hand, severing the connection that Mark forced upon her. The two brothers, Henry and James, hear sounds coming from the storeroom. Investigating, they discover Jack's body and assume Maria has already fled, unaware that she is still hiding under a table in the same room. They head back inside to search for a diamond Mark had promised them. They soon locate a secure safe but realize it's heavily protected, requiring either a fingerprint or a password. Thinking they can unlock it using Jack's body, they leave Maria momentarily safe in her hiding spot. In the meantime, Maria discovers a gasoline can in the storeroom and quietly refills the car's tank. But Henry notices the gas can beside the vehicle and realizes she's still nearby. He punctures all four tires with a knife, ensuring she won't escape in the car. Maria, watching him, 
retreats back to the storeroom to stay hidden. Just as Henry closes in, she triggers the car alarm using the keys, drawing the brothers' attention. They rush toward the sound, giving her an opening to dash upstairs to hide in a bedroom. Henry eventually finds her and attempts to capture her, but Maria strikes first and bolts toward the car. Before she can escape, Henry smashes the window, pulling her out. His brother tries to reason with him, reminding him that they're only there for the diamond not murder. But Henry's desire for revenge overpowers him, and he knocks Maria unconscious in a fit of rage. When Maria awakens, she finds herself chained again, with Henry demanding the code for the safe. Growing more furious with each incorrect attempt, he threatens her with a knife. Desperate to calm his brother, James searches under the bed and finds a gun. He points it at Henry, ordering him to stop. Henry, now cornered, uses Mark's handprint on the safe, and this time it opens. Instead of diamonds, however, there's only a note inside reading, the diamonds are close to the heart. The brothers realize that the diamonds must be hidden in the locket Mark gifted Maria for their anniversary. They attempt to pry it open but find it's unbreakable. Frustrated, Henry tries once more to kill Maria, sparking a violent confrontation with James. The scuffle ends tragically when Henry pushes his brother, causing him to fall backward onto a hook mounted on the wall fatally impaling him through the head. Devastated by James's death, Henry turns his fury on Maria, firing the pistol in her direction, only to discover it's out of bullets. Enraged, he throws objects in a frenzy, intending to harm her. Maria, however, seizes an opportunity, striking Henry with a metal cutter and knocking him unconscious. She quickly chains him up and tries to escape, but he soon regains consciousness and pursues her once more. Maria sprints to the car, desperately trying to drive away. She attempts to run over Henry, but the vehicle crashes into a house and overturns. She manages to crawl out of the wreckage, only for Henry, now dragging Mark's lifeless body, to catch up and confront her in a final showdown. As they struggle, the ice beneath them gives way, plunging all three, Maria, Henry, and Mark's body, into the freezing water. Henry clings to Maria, trying to drown her along with him, but Maria, fighting for her life, stabs him in his remaining eye, leaving him completely blind. He loses his hold, allowing her a chance to swim upward. Maria surfaces, only to find herself trapped beneath the ice, her breath running out. From above, the ice-covered surface appears empty, with no sign of her escape. Suddenly, a knife breaks through the ice, and Maria pulls herself out, gasping for air. Against all odds, she survives the ordeal, leaving behind the dark and twisted revenge plot. The story concludes with her hard-fought escape, her struggle a testament to resilience and survival. End of the movie. Thank you for watching this recap. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I always love hearing from you, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.